This is a continuation of the time I spent with Richard. I do hope you'll hang in. The story at the end of part two is such a, a beautiful example of why I don't think many martial arts understand what we're doing in the art of Aikido. In most martial arts, it's about who's better. In Aikido, it's about making the world better. And not all of us approach it that way, but for some of us, that's the essence of the art. If you listen to Richard's story, that question of doesn't work on the street, in my opinion, the story puts that question to shame. Richard? The other thing that I want to say here, because I know that we've had a little bit of these conversations, is that um, there's a lot of conversation about cultivating your key, cultivating your key. And the question uh, that started to surface for me some time back was like, why don't we talk about cultivating uh, uh, the key of a team or the key of an organization or the key, or, or the key of a, um, a partnership or a community or a collective or cultivating the key of the world? There you go. And um, I was with a senior teacher some years ago from Japan, um, you know, really a master teacher, been in forever. And I asked him, I said, we, that's the very same question. And there were about three different translators and it took everybody a long time to translate that. And then he finally said, well, that's what Osensei wanted. He was a direct student of Osensei. And I thought, boy, we're, have, we, have we come too far from that? That um, in this, it, can we join with this key of the world and make a more powerful medicine? He said, Aikido is medicine for a sick world. I mean, where you're going is exactly where I want to go. And I think I said it in my emails too. But, you know, I think it's fine that a person develops more strength and more power, more capability, because uh, I think the more power you have, the less you operate from fear. The more you operate from fear, the more it manifests as aggression, passive or otherwise. So that seems right to me. But, but it also seems clear to me that his vision was, you know, uh, it's not about being strong and felling an opponent. It's about reconciling the world and making human beings one family. And so this, this concept to me of what if all the time, resources, money, energy that had gone into war had gone into education, art, and commerce. Can you imagine the world we'd be living in? What, what, what you just said, said reminded me of this e event that happened, um, you know, doing the uh, Marine Corps martial art program in which Aikido was the basic foundation, Aikido principles. And then we built on top of that. Um, there was a fellow from a different um, uh, battalion who would, an officer who would, was the liaison for me. So he was around, but not exactly in the program, but was really fascinated by it very deeply. And then um, he, uh, we left Camp Pendleton, Marsh, McMath, the martial art program became established in the Corps. And um, uh, I kind of, I, I kept in touch with him and he, and he had uh, taken up Aikido where he was transferred to, and then he was um, deployed to Iraq. And I heard this story about a, um, a platoon that was going through a street in Fallujah, and there was a, um, uh, 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 you know, uh, somebody had died. So it was a funeral procession, and they saw this platoon of Marines, and they got really riled up and everything. And he said to them, he said to his platoon, he said, I want everybody to take a knee, put your, take your helmet off and, and bow your head. And they did that and the crowd kind of settled down. The shake came to him and thanked him. And so I got in contact with him. And so I said to him, I said, what, what was that? That's incredible. What was that about? And just in the most simple, direct way, he said, you know, it just seemed like the Ike thing to do. And, yeah, and, and that's different than, oh, we were able to save ourselves by doing Koshinage. Right? <laughs> that's a great one. That's a great one. Really, really exemplary of um, this, this spirit. What we're doing in the art of Aikido 